things couldn't be better, actually, and I think it's all down to Roy McFarlane and Mick Jones. Mansfield Town, who sacked Mick Jones at the end of last season, put the first dent in that bubble. Gary Nicholson with the corner, it's flicked on by Burrows, and Jim Lumby scores underneath goalkeeper Smith. But within a minute, Bradford equalised from a free kick taken here by Cess Pod. Watch out for a good header from Campbell. He really was a force in the air, knocking it down there, and Kevin Bird deflects it into his own net, one all. That was the score at half-time, and Kevin Bird had quite an eventful night. It continued after a tackle there by Campbell. Bird had to limp away from the action, and Mansfield, with substitute Ian Wood already on, were down to ten men. Well, Campbell, a real handful in the air, winning the ball there. Mansfield never managed to subdue him, and Campbell in with that fine header. City go 2-1 in front. But without the influence of Roy McFarlane, Bradford looked vulnerable at corners. Nicholson takes the kick, and Ian Wood, the substitute with that deflection, for 2 all. And Bradford led in another goal from a corner. Again, Wood, the substitute, is in the action, hits the bar with that header, off the line from Burrows. Bird has come back onto the field, he's been pushed forward, laying the ball back and picking up the return, and Bird's swerving shot puts Mansfield ahead once again. But Roy McFarland really has got Bradford battling. Back they came again. Les Chapman with the cross. Again Campbell at the end of it. Bird blocks McNiven's shot. And the referee decided that was handball and a penalty. Mansfield none too pleased by that. But John Black to take the penalty. He makes no mistake. And that's three all. But right at the end came Mansfield's winner. Wood with the pass to Dave Caldwell. He turns away from Jackson. Goalkeeper Smith coming off his line. There's a real mix-up here between Smith and Pod. 4-3 the result to Blacksford, to Mansfield. A thrilling cup tie it was. Roy McFarlane's first home defeat.